But in 2030, the great energy crisis began. With hardly any resources left on our world, global powers created the World Space Agency to look beyond the Earth for answers. The answer was found in Helium-3, a powerful isotope discovered in abundance on the Moon. With it, humanity could satisfy its energy demand for decades to come. And so, in 2032, mankind colonized the Moon. Spearheaded by the Lunar Council, the WSA constructed several permanent settlements to harvest and process Helium-3. The resulting energy was transferred to Earth through a revolutionary energy network, the Microwave Power Transmission, or MPT. For a time, all seemed well. Then, one fateful night in 2054, the lights went out. No energy. The MPT had gone offline, and communication with the lunar colonists was lost. Without earthly resources to launch a full-scale rescue mission to the Moon, the World Space Agency was shut down permanently in 2055. But a small group of former WSA colonists refused to accept humanity's bleak future. Determined to discover the colony's fate and to restore the MPT, they've been preparing their mission in an abandoned desert launch facility. Now, in 2059, they are ready to launch an astronaut to the moon. What awaits is unknown and unforeseeable, but the mission is clear. Deliver us the moon. Hey right, guys, welcome to part one of Deliver Us to the Moon. If you guys enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Because this so oh, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe because this support means a lot to me. And with that, let's get into the game. of the missing lunar colonists gather all around the world tonight in remembrance of the 2054 MPT blackout that resulted in a global power outage and the loss of contact with the lunar colony. The blackout caused global turmoil which ultimately led to the closure of the World Space Agency one year later. In other news, the recent formation of the largest dust storm on record has prompted climatologists to readjust their forecast of the equatorial desert's growth rate. As a result of the new storm, the desert could soon cover 30% of the globe's landmass. Several governments have pledged support for refugees, despite reports of resource shortages. The dust storm is expected to hit residential zones between the northern 49th and 50th latitude lines by late afternoon, and pass over the World Space Agency's former MPC ground station in the Adirao Desert. Authorities have imposed a mandatory evacuation of the impacted areas. For countries north of the equatorial desert, temperatures are expected to be a mild 46 degrees Celsius. This was Nicole Cage for World News 1, September 16, 2059. Wishing you a safe and happy day. Damn. Wasn't suspecting that for a news radio broadcast. Katrina, are you there? Whoa. Round launch sequence will relax this arm, absolutely power. Blah 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 blah. Backside you've done it a thousand times before during a simulation when you can do it. Okay.
Wow, we're looking to see what we can. Oh, there we go. Ground control to Fortuna One, this is Claire. Please confirm radio contact. Ah, okay. Astro Two. Radio contact confirmed. Make your way to the launch platform and prime the rocket for liftoff. We have to launch before the dust storm hits. This is such a pretty game. This does not seem very safe. last received a microwave power transmission from the lunar colony. At first, no one believed it would be possible to transmit energy from the moon back to Earth. But the WSA proved the skeptics wrong. Just like you will, when you get the MPT back online. functioned as part of the WSA. And my controller died. One second. <laughs> Our 
home for many years. There we go. I still can't believe you'll be leaving here for good soon. The desertification of this whole region won't take long after the storm passes through. for the MPT blackout. One, the transmitter at Pearson Space Station. Claire, there you are. Come on, we're celebrating in the other room. Everyone is looking for you. I need to go over this one last time, Maria. We've been over it before, multiple times. We're good. Come, it's time to join the party. It won't take long, I'll be right there. <laughs> A true Johansson. Once he set his mind to something, I could never convince him either. You are just as stubborn as your father. <laughs> Probably the only thing we have in common. I, I just don't understand why he didn't restore the MPT connection. He invented the damn thing. And now it's just us. No one else is even trying. If we fail... Remember what I told you. If it can be done, then we're going to do it. That's all we have to focus on. Go over your notes. Join us when you're ready. All right. Time to go up more. I honestly have no clue where I'm supposed to be going. And as well. Oh, whoops. Alright, that should be good now, so you guys can actually hear me. Good, you're in the control center. Get the rocket ready to launch as fast as possible. And how do I do that? an objective thing I 
Better launch sequence, find control center to prime the rocket, enter the free cycle launch facility, equip the astronauts. Yeah, prepare to launch, initiate power reboot inside the control center. Initiate power. Why would there not be no power to this place anyways? Here we go. The storm is approaching faster than expected. Way faster. Time's running out. Keep going, Fortuna. We've been working too long to give up now.
close both fuel valves. Ah, so that's what that stairs was for. A minute and thirty to get up there. Orbital access arm 
on retracting. Be a little more careful. Perfect, just like we practiced. Oh, you're in the line. A1, A3, B3, B4. Auxiliary power units booting up. Gaseous oxygen vent arm retracting, vent arm safely in place. system engaged. Hey, we did it. lost after the lunar colony fell. We could recover, rebuild, and most of all, start thinking about a future. You'll need to find the MPT transmitter at the Pearson space station. From there, the power signal was relayed to Earth. This was the final link in the MPT network before the blackout. If there are answers to find, they're at Pearson, clear. We need to head down to the shelter. These winds are getting bad. Understood. For Tuna One, this storm is going to jam radio contact. You'll be on your own for a while. To reach the station, you must. <laughs> Once you're in the purple, the second stage of the law. Please deliver us the. That does not sound good.
Why do I have to do this? I don't like this. Come on, come on, come on. Did I get it? Yes. Alright guys, then that's going to do it for part 1 of Deliver Us to the Moon. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe because the support means a lot to me. And with that, I will see you all in part 2.